Praise God. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. All, All the time. time. Quickly, just say something to the Holy Spirit this morning. Ask God to send down the Holy Spirit to teach us, to help us, to explain to us, to reveal to us. Precious Lord, help us this morning. Revive us spiritually, physically. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, give us quick understanding of your word, open to us, show to us that great and mighty things that you say you will show unto us when we call upon you. Father, we call upon you this morning. Ah, that's only your name, and your name will be glorified. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 All right, quickly, what do we have? We deliberated on a wonderful topic by, by our, our great teacher last week. Praise God. Hallelujah. If I want to reward her now, we'll say the woman of the year. Praise God. Or the teacher of the year. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right, last week, we deliberated on the life skills, self-development. Quickly, you can emphasize on that. You can just work on it quickly. Praise the Lord. We discussed about uh, how to acquire more skill and knowledge to move. That the same thing we have been doing over the time, we should develop on it and work more on it to be in tune with the current trend and also in areas where we don't even know we should try to seek more to develop and even some things we should learn more that will make us to be able to stand on our own praise god all right why is why is self-development so very very important Part of life, <laughs> Without it, you can't, you can't go forward. You, 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 need, you need to develop yourself because you can't stay in one place, be drinking milk. You need to move to be start, to start to crack bones. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we, we understand generally if we don't have uh, engaged in this self development, we will be left behind. Yeah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. I understand when uh, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. I say something about there was a man that was uh, a mechanic uh, repairing uh, repairing these uh, old Volkswagen those days, and that man was uh, perfect, was uh, especially then. Amen. The man was very good. So everyone that had Volkswagen, they would go to the man. The man was really the business was booming, mm -hmm. and this man refused or or refuse to engage in their self-development or grades. Praise God. So this man just relaxed, was stagnant in that, uh, that same um, pattern of car, repairing, repairing that car, doing the Volkswagen. So everybody, so a time came that Volkswagen was no longer in use. So people bought Volkswagen now, they are now doing away with it. Dropping it because now old car. So this man don't have customer again. Okay? And this man cannot repair a new car. And the man have what? 
the situation had to force him to relocate back to the village. Praise God. Do we see that now? Yes. That is why self-development is so very, very important. If you don't engage in it, you will be left behind. Praise God. Mostly this era that we are now, whether we like it or not, we must engage in this race. Praise God. In every area, if you are a child of God, don't just be a child of God. When pastor shout, then you say, hey, hallelujah. If pastor say, God will bless you, you need to go back to the book, to the word of God, and see what you will do that God will really bless you. Amen? Amen. You can't just receive God will bless you. You see people shouting in the big congregation, hey, yeah, receive it. Receive what? If you receive anything without understanding, you won't be able to work with it. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. What do we have today? Social etiquette. Amen. Amen. Social etiquette. Praise God. Amen. And our Bible passage is taken from Titus 3, 1 to 2. And memory verse is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter number 14, verse 40. Memory verse. First Corinthians. Are we there? Yes. Let's read together. Let's Let us think the word done, done decently and in order. Praise God. I, I hope this one is simple. Now somebody will want to try it. <laughs> Amen. Okay, let's go again. Our memory verse. First Corinthians chapter number 14, verse 40. Let all things what be done decently and in order. First Corinthians 14 40. All right, we can try it quickly. Praise God. Praise God. Anyone can try it? Let all things be done decently and in order. First Corinthians 14 40. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Social etiquette. Praise God. When they say social etiquette, what are they talking about? What do we understand by that word etiquette? Etiquette. The ethics. Etiquette was taken from the ethics, right. which means the style, the pattern, Amen. the procedure in an organization, how they do things, and what to follow. Praise God. Amen. All right. That is a good explanation. So we can also use simple words for that word etiquette. Our moral, our behavior. Eh? Moral behavior, praise God. Amen. Amen. Okay, we can also use the word our manner. Praise God. Our manner, we are our code of conduct. Praise God. Amen. 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 So every organization has a code of conduct. The way they do things. Amen? Amen. People who work in the bank, they have a code of dressing. The way they dress. You can't just be our native avatar and go to the bank. I'll be attending you. If you praise God. They have a <laughs> Amen. So every department or organization, they must be the way they behave. They do things. That is why we have in our nation, we have doctrine. Doctrine now is our code of conduct. The way we behave in redeem, as a minister, you have to do these are the areas you have. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You don't just do things anyhow because you are under authority. Praise God. Amen. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Titus chapter number 3, 1 to 2. Somebody help us there. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and power to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brothers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. Praise God. Can you help us, sir? What are they talking about that? Yeah, it's the word of admonition by Brother Titus. Because this is about Christian ethics. That as a Christian, what we need to know to follow, that 
when people see us, they will know that this is a Christian, not just a church goer. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So our, our our behavior is the one that is preaching the word of God. Seventy percent of our behavior, praise God, or even eighty percent of our behavior is the, 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 the responsible in the word, dishing out the word of God to people. Most of the time, when you speak to people, they won't listen to you. But your behavior will speak to them. Ah, that brother is a Christian. They don't. You don't have to defend yourself. I'm a Christian. If you are defending yourself that I'm a Christian, you know that you are you are losing out. Something is wrong. So your behavior in our place of work, they will know that ah, that boy is a Christian, or that man is a Christian, that sister is a Christian. The way you behave, praise God. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So you don't say ah, you are a Christian. Your your attitude or your behavior is different from that the conduct of a Christian. Amen. I pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Etiquette is the customary code, specific rules. Amen. So we understand that word etiquette now. Is what? The customary code or specific rules of a polite behavior within a culture, within a culture, society, or professional group. It makes one behave in in a socially responsible way, distinct from animal. animals. <laughs> Praise God. Etiquette is applicable to various spheres of life, social, professional, businesses, spiritual, etc. Amen. When someone knows and follows respected rules for behavior, we say that that person has what? Good a good etiquette. Or in another word, that person have what? Manners. A good manner. Amen? Amen? That person have manner. Praise God. Amen. Amen. The Bible equally advises us as believers to apply decency and orderliness in whatever we do. Amen? Amen. So our memories were just state, stated that one out. First Corinthians chapter number 14, verse 40, we say, Let all things be done what? Decently and what? In order. Hence, it is necessary for youth to be guided in their dealings and interactions with others. Praise God. Okay. Amen. Okay. Outline one. The need for what? Etiquette. Etiquette. Another word, the need for manners. manners. Okay. The need for good conduct. Good conduct. Amen. The need for good behaviors. Good behaviors. Amen. The need for good procedure. Good procedure. <laughs> Amen. All right. The need for <laughs> decorum. Decorum. Yes. Decorum. Praise God. Another word for it. Amen. The need for godliness. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. The need for. I know, brother, you will say something. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Amen. I wanted him to say something, but maybe later. God will help us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The need for etiquette or the need for good behavior. Praise God. People around us must not be embarrassed by our disposition in public. Amen. Amen. People around us must know what must know what feel embarrassed the way we display ourselves in the public. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 You can see some unmarried women. Maybe it don't happen here. Every everyone has need to what behave in a responsible way. But when it comes to marriage women fighting in the in our local market where we are coming from we know you see a married woman that you need to what respect when you are fighting you don't know where you 
from, since you see sometimes they, they are naked, they'll be fighting. No shame. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you don't only embarrass yourself, you embarrass your husband also, the whole family. So everybody that knows you, your friend. So the way we dispose ourselves, the way we display ourselves in the public, need to what? Follow the procedure, as you said. Amen? There must be a proper way of conduct. We must behave what? Decency. In a decency manner. Decently and what? In order. According to what? 1 Corinthians 14, 40. Praise God. Amen. Amen. One should not behave irrationally or illogically in public. Amen. Amen. All right. What they are, what are they trying to explain about when one behaves illogically in public? Amen. Amen. When there's a situation and you should handle the situation with absolute care and you just flare up, uh, and they'll be saying, "Now, nah, is it that brother this or is it that sister this?" The words you speak out is not even encouraging, you know. Your attitude towards everybody trying to calm you down is just, just wayward. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, amen. That's wonderful. One should not behave irrationally or illogically in public. When something is logic, we know that that thing is what? Reasonable. Amen? amen. When it becomes illogically, that is unreasonable. So, one should not behave in a reasonable manner. That why you don't have to do why must you do that? Amen. Praise God. You know what? Or reasonable manner. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Without etiquette, members of society will show far too much impatience and disrespect for one another. Praise God. Amen. Amen. If there's no proper way in the public. There's law in every nation. There's law that guide people, that protect people, that tell people this is how you behave. Praise God. Amen. I can't just walk to your compound and start planting, uh, planting uh, using your garden. Amen? Amen. So in other words, the law did not permit me in what? Even if we are neighbors. Amen. Neighbors, there is boundary. There is fence. So if I cross my fence and come to your, your guiding that I'm trespassing, praise God. Amen. Amen. And that is now what? Against the law. So these law are in places to guide us. So if there's no law, for example, before, before coming to the church now, and I can branch any, any bank and collect what I want, collect money, praise God. But nothing, if I go to the bank now, there's no law to say, don't. Amen? I'm not stealing. Praise God. God, the law is there that when you force yourself into the bank and take money that does not belong to you, even if that money belongs to you, and you do not follow the proper what, way of getting your money back, then you go against the law. Praise God. Amen. 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 And that is what God was trying to do, or what God did for us in the beginning. When God told man, don't go near that fruit. So that we would not have this money, we'll be free. So if there, there's no knowledge of good and bad, so man will be free. Amen? When there's no law, there's no sin. When, there, when there's no law, so I have to be free. Then nobody will commit sin. Now, then when the law comes into existence, there will be sin. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And the Bible did not explain that David, Adam and Eve committed any sin before God gave them that instruction. They were living freely. Who knows what they were doing before? But maybe those things that we are doing that they don't have the knowledge of. And become sin when they have the knowledge of good and bad. And that was the harm God was trying to save man from. So that if you don't have this on your head, then you will be able to commit sin. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 First Peter chapter number three, verse eight. Somebody there, read. First. Finally, uh -huh. all of one mind, 
having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be cautious. Praise God. Amen. Amen. All right, come and explain that. Walking in one mind. Amen. Behave to one another in a very decent way. Praise God. Amen. That is the behavior, the etiquette we are talking about. Amen. Amen. So if I know what I don't like, if you say it to me, I will say, don't talk to me like that, I don't like it. So there is no point of me saying it to another person because I don't like it. So what you don't like people doing to you, don't do it to others. It's a simple rule. That is the golden rule. Amen. Amen. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Etiquette makes people a cultured person who leaves your mark wherever you go. It makes you what? A cultured person. Somebody that is well behaved. Wherever you go. Anybody that has good character, good behavior, you must choose. Amen? Amen. Amen. Shows. In other words, our behavior speaks more than our talk. Amen. Amen. If you have a bad okay, I'm not you, not you. <laughs> if they have if they have a bad behavior, wherever behavior is mess, they thought of. Amen? Amen. You can only try to behave yourself, but when you get to that area, something must push you out, must push them out. Praise God. Amen. 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 So we don't have to pretend. We must try to walk in every areas that we are weak. I'm not saying that nobody is perfect, but every man, every woman have that thing. You understand, sir? That thing is that area you are, you are working upon. Every man have it, whether you are a great man of God or you are a powerful man of God, you have that thing. That thing is your weak point that makes you a man. That you are asking God, help me, even when you are anointed man of God. You still have that thing. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, I am not saying you should ask me now, the, the King Jude, what is that your thing? <laughs> so you have your thing, but Amunia. What is your thing? <laughs> Praise God. But the Ayo, what is that your thing? And you know, only you know, don't tell me. Praise God. Amen. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I know our pastor may not have that thing. Do you have, sir? Uh, of course, I have. I have. I'm playing to God. Okay, our mommy will, will not have. And that thing is Christ. Okay, that is, you, know, you can see that we are, we are blessed. Amen. 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 All right, God will help us. Amen. He teaches us, He teaches you the way to eat. When we say etiquette, He teaches you the way to eat, talk, walk, and most importantly, behave in the society. Proverbs chapter number 23, 1 to 2, quickly. We did. It says, when you sit to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before you, and put a knife to your throat, if you be a man given to appetite. Praise God. Amen. 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 We get this done. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now, in your home, if you are eating in your home, this way you eat. You eat, no, nothing guides you. You don't have any code of eating. You can chew anyhow, move your mouth anyhow. But if you are going, for example, tomorrow, the queen invites you to the palace and you are going to dine with her. The way you chew your mouth in your city room is going to be different. Praise God. Amen? Amen. So you are going to comport yourself. Amen? Amen. Even if you chew that thing, you do it well or not. You, you may be forced to swallow it like that. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> God will help us Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So we are, when we are home, we chew anyhow. We just God will help us. It is, necess it is essential for an everlasting first impression. The way you interact with your superior parents, 
fellow workers. Friends, speak a lot about your personality and upbringing. Praise God. Amen. 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 The way you talk to people just show where you are coming from. Amen. Amen. Children, the way we talk to people outside it shows where we are coming from, our home, our home training, whether we have good home training or not, whether we have manner, whether we have been taught well in our home or not. The way we speak, praise God. Amen. Amen. Home that children are permitted to use. Words that are that are not good for Christian or for people, the the cause, the insult. If they go outside, it just show what they are free to do, what they are free to do in their home. Amen. Amen. Children that are not allowed to use that word cause in their home, if they go outside, they also what? But, Dispose themselves or display themselves in such manner they know how to speak. Amen. Amen. So our home training is very, very important. Praise God. Amen. 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 The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. No one is perfect. Everyone is what? Working towards perfection. I'm not saying that any home is that. No home is perfect. But we got to what? Work it out. Check areas that's we are not doing well. We ask God for strength. Amen. Amen. He takes the grace of God to train the children these days. Amen. Amen. They are the modern children that we have. He takes the grace of God. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Etiquette enables the individual to earn respect and appreciation in the society. Praise God. A good behavior enable what individual to earn respect <coughs> in the society. There are men that even who died or people who died twenty years ago. People are still saying good about them now. They still talk about that man was a principled man. That man was a good man. That man was praise God. Twenty years ago, <coughs> amen. There are people that are alive, they are alive, because of their bad behavior. We never see even the, the animal even complaining about them. <laughs> Press call. There are behavior that, well, that man, that wicked man. It shows the man don't have to tell you I'm wicked. But the behavior of the man, amen, is telling people that that man is a wicked man. Press call. It was inculcates a feeling of trust and loyalty in the individual. Praise God. When we have a good behavior, the way we comport ourselves, people can what rely on us, can trust us, can have confidence in us. Praise God. Etiquette help individual to value relationship. Amen. It he help what? Good man and help individual to value relationship with people. It is a way to remove social barriers and create connection with people who need to hear the gospel. Praise God. Amen. There is no way you can preach to people if you don't have good manners. I said something about a woman who ref a man who refused to go to church. He said that the, the woman will go to church. The woman is a Christian. Anytime the woman is calling the pastor daddy daddy. But getting home, the husband is shit. And the husband said, I won't follow, I will never follow with this your character. I will never follow you to that church. Because that church needs to work on you first. Amen? Amen. So if the character of the lady of the woman is good, it's easy to take the man along to the church. So our character speak more than preaching the gospel. First of all, the Bible said, let us what examine ourselves, check ourselves, put ourselves in order. Amen? Amen. And what is the correct told us? 